You also uh, had a story, uh, I think, last week, if I'm not mistaken, about uh, the, the non-response to the Benghazi attacks. Yes, we uh, really put together some fascinating, new, and sad information that lends idea to the claims of a rescue interrupted. Uh, very timely with the film coming out 13 hours this week, with the CIA guys that say they were delayed from responding less than a mile away when they could have helped. But we also spoke to sources and have some email evidence that talks about special forces that were not far away in Europe that were, we are told, assigned to respond in the event of a case just like this, and yet were turned back, according to witnesses. This is something that the president of the White House has steadfastly denied, but there's now what I would call an overwhelming body of evidence uh, that leads us to believe somebody stopped a number of teams and potential rescuers from entering Libya or going to Benghazi to help while those attacks were underway, and that they could have gotten there, according to experts and people who have information that we spoke to. They could have gotten there before the last two Americans died. Those attacks went on for, for eight hours. And, and, and do they speculate as to why or who might have stopped these, uh, these rescue attempts? Yes, uh, to some degree. I mean, we spoke to, again, a CIA team leader expert and an anti-terrorism expert who say the only person who stops those forces that spin up automatically without waiting to be told, the only force is the commander-in-chief slash the White House, some authority that comes from him.